Well, I'm here again to embarrass myself on the internet, so that must mean it's time for another 2024 baking challenge. It is week number 18, and we are going to make English muffin toasting bread. So it's English muffins, but in loaf form. And uh, I think that sounds great. So I'm excited about this one. I like a good English muffin. I know they're supposed to be like, I don't know why in my brain it's like a healthier bread alternative, even though it's just bread. Maybe it's the cornmeal. Um, but anyway, that train of thought just derailed. All right, so get your ingredients and let's bake. Okay, so it's week 18, English muffin toasting bread. Um, let's just get into it because this is kind of a long process is what I'm seeing. So you're going to weigh or measure your three cups of all-purpose flour. I already have that in the mixer here. To that, we are going to whisk together the sugar, salt, and baking soda. Oh, and the yeast. Okay, I didn't see that. Huh. Um, and it's funny because I knew that there was yeast, but this one is the one that's open but it didn't register and I didn't put it in. Um, so that is a tablespoon of granulated sugar, a one and a half teaspoons of table salt, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, not powder, and a tablespoon spoon of instant yeast. There's my tablespoon. Is that all up in there? Okay. And then you're gonna mix that together in your mixing bowl. Let me raise this so I don't forget to do that. We're just gonna hit stir for a couple minutes. Okay, now to get to the liquid here, let me move this down a little. Okay, so we have one cup of milk and a fourth a cup of water. I've already got those combined. That is gonna go in here. Or you can do this in the microwave. You just need to check your temperature and kind of go slow. Um, Cause you don't wanna scald your milk. That's icky, nobody likes that. Uh, you need to heat it to between 120 and 130. Which means I need to find the, is this one I got? Yeah, this is the one I got. All right. Um, uh, oh, and the oil. What do we need? Um, so it says vegetable oil or olive oil. I'm going to go with vegetable oil and you're going to need two tablespoons of vegetable oil in with your milk and water. That's weird. <laughs> That's just weird to me, but all right. Oh, and the outside of the bottle is oily. Yay. I love that. I'll clean that off later. Okay, that's all combined. I'm gonna turn that off because it's really annoying. Combine. Means we're gonna do a little bit of whisking here, but honestly, I don't know that the oil and milk and water is gonna mix all that well, so we're gonna try it. Once, Oh yeah, make sure you don't go over 140 degrees because that'll um, absolutely annihilate your yeast because once this hits 120, we're putting it in the bowl over our dry ingredients. That smells weird to me. Let's see what we got here. Almost there. Trying to just kind of skim it on the surface. Yeah, I'm right there. It doesn't take long, and I have the heat on super duper high. You can stick your finger in it too, make sure it's actually what it should be. Mine is. And you're just gonna pour that onto your dry mixture. Just super easy to do. <laughs> and that's hot. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. mix thoroughly until combined. So, Part of the recipe is yellow cornmeal to sprinkle in the pan. I messed up. I knew I needed cornmeal. 
Um, and I checked the pantry and I saw a box that said corn on it and I did not keep reading. It is in fact corn starch. If you don't have cornmeal, there's a couple things that you can substitute. You can grind up some instant oats, like oatmeal, um, or you can use corn flakes, which is what I'm going to use. I'm going to grind up what's left of this toasted cereal, which is, or total cereal, which is not a lot that's left in there. Um, ooh all right. That's pretty well mixed. Uh, da, 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 da. One minute, yeah. Smooth and soft. If you're not using a mixer, you can mix this by hand for two to three minutes um, until it starts to become elastic. I actually think I need just a little bit longer on here. A little bit more and it'll be all nice and stretchy. Okay, you're gonna need a loaf pan. It says eight and a half by four and a half loaf pan. You're gonna lightly grease it. I'm just gonna use my cooking spray and then you're gonna sprinkle the bottom and the sides with your cornmeal, which I have to go mix up. So I'm gonna kill this video for a minute. Okay, I'm not actually using the blender for this because there wasn't that much left. So I am just being super noisy and crushing it up in the bag. <laughs> I have sprayed my loaf pan here. All right, let's just, let's just get into it. It's definitely a bigger texture than cornmeal, but um, you know, what are you gonna do? I, I got nothing. <laughs> Maybe if I turn this on the bottom, it'll stay. No, it's not really gonna do that. Oh, it does kind of stay a little bit. And this is how I flour my cake pans too. And I'm making a mess all over the stove top. That's okay. All right, get this out of the way. Ooh, big mess. Okay, from here we are going to scoop our dough into the pan, leveling it as much as possible. Get this out of the way. I'm very messy today. Um, Lots of just messy baking. Messy kitchen, messy hair. That is just the way that today is going to go, and that's okay. This is not this is not a cooking show, people. This is just my attempt at new recipes. Okay. Kind of trying to shape it into a loaf before I put it in the pan. It doesn't say to do that. Um, it is a soft dough. It doesn't really want to stay together. Um, so, you know, whatever. All right, I'm going to push it in here. I'm going to kind of push mine down a little, get it all, all the way to the corners. This is not going to be a pretty loaf of bread, I fear. That's okay. That's okay. See, now I'm a mess. Now I'm a mess. Okie dokie. From here, we are going to cover the pan and let the dough rise until it has just barely come over the rim of your pan. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. It's going to take about an hour for that to happen. Um, so set your timers for an hour. Take anything in your oven out of your oven because we're going to be preheating that when we come back. Um, I mean, it, so oven's going to need to be set to 400. So you can preheat it now if you want, but for the love of all that's holy, please check your ovens first. Um, I have sourdough proofing in mind, so I know that that's going to have to come out. Okay. Proof your dough, cover it with a towel lightly, and uh, I will see you back in an hour. Okay, so it's been an hour. My bread did not come to the top, uh, but it did rise some. It's probably doubled a little bit, maybe. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. It is an odd looking dough up close. I don't understand this texture, but 
We're gonna throw it in the oven for 22 to 26 minutes and see what happens. Remember, our oven should have been preheated to 400 degrees. All right, I'm gonna set this to 22 minutes. So 22 to 27 minutes, internal temperature needs to be 190, yeah, 190 degrees, um, golden brown. Remove from oven after five minutes in the pan, you're gonna take it out of the pan and put it on a rack to cool. So remember to set your timers and I'll see you back in about, I don't know, like 40 minutes. We're only baking to 27 minutes. I'll come back when it's out of the oven and cooled down. And then we'll do our taste test and see how this turned out. Okay, here it is out of the oven. It's still, it's still warm. I'm too impatient to wait. Um, it smells really good. It, may be done on the inside. You know what? I was worried about this because mine wasn't quite up to temperature and it looks like it may not be completely done. Um, but texture wise, it does somewhat resemble a English muffin. So let me grab a knife and some butter here. So I'm not about to eat this thing plain and um, give it a try. Give it a try and see how it goes. Now on my English muffins that I make, I, or that I eat, I don't make English muffins, but on the ones that I eat, I will usually do a little bit of butter and then I'll toast them. And then I'll add just like a little drizzle of honey um, or Nutella cause yum. So definitely my cornflakes um, should have been crushed up finer. They're very large and making a mess all over the surface of my oven, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it tastes like an English muffin. Mm hmm. That was a really big bite. Sorry. So despite the fact that I think mine is a little bit undercooked um, on the center, this tastes really good. There's nothing in here that's going to hurt me if it's a little underbaked. Um, the, the thermometer that I was using was really all over the place. It was like down as low as like 90 something and then up as high as like 170 something. But within a matter of seconds, it would just dip and fluctuate and I wasn't moving it around inside the bread. So I think it probably needs to be um, charged. But this is a golden brown color, just like the recipe said. It's got a good flavor. I love the texture. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this a win, absolutely. Another fantastic bread recipe from King Arthur. So Yahoo, I'm gonna have to hide this so that uh, it doesn't disappear in my household in the next like two hours, cause bread fiends. <laughs> Whew. Well, that's it for week number 18. I am glad that you were here following along for this English muffin toasting bread. Mine was a little underbaked, I think. Maybe it's just cause I didn't wait for it to cool down completely before I sliced into it, but it tastes great. And as a friend pointed out, it uses ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry, so no specialty shopping involved. I love that. Anyways, if you're new here, you should check back in next week, see what we're making. It's gonna be a new recipe, well, a new to me recipe, every single Saturday. You should also go follow along over at the Facebook page every Wednesday morning, although the last two weeks it's been Thursdays because I cannot get my life together. Most of the time, Wednesday mornings, I will post the name of what we're making along with the ingredient list. That way you can get your shopping done in time for Saturday. These videos come out anytime between 7 a.m. and 9 on Saturdays. Again, it just depends on how well together my life is. Not very good some days, but that's okay. We're just here to have fun, bake new things, make some messes, cause a little chaos, and have a lot of laughs. So hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week.